हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट नेव स्ट्रिंग मैचिंग एंड रैबिन कार पलगुरिदम विथ सॉल एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट डी एस ए प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फ्रैक्शनल नैपसैक प्रॉब्लम लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन सो here we will discuss about first what exactly fractional knapsack problem then some applications solve examples algorithm and some important question bank that question bank will be important for your end sem exam now let's see all these points one by one now the first question is what exactly fractional knapsack so fractional knapsack is one of the greedy algorithm greedy algorithm means you have to take the best decision at every step in some previous lecture we have discussed about prims kruskal or any graph related algorithm so we are taking the best decision to find out the shortest path right so this is called as greedy algorithm you have to take the best decision at every step now in fractional knapsack problem we are calculating the total profit as per the profit weight ratio so first we will understand what exactly fractional knapsack see here suppose this is a particular bag or container and the capacity of this bag is 10 kg and this bag is called as knapsack okay now you have some household items and you have to put all the items in particular knapsack one by one right so suppose you have a washing machine and the weight is 6 kg then you have a mixer weight is 1 kg then again for tv weight is 2 kg and there are total of four chairs and weight is 2 kg now you have to add all these items one by one in particular knapsack how see suppose first i want to add washing machine and the weight of washing machine is 6 kg so my total capacity is 10 kg from this 10 kg i have added 6 kg washing machine so my remaining weight is 4 kg after that i am adding tv and the weight of tv is 2 kg so from 4 kg i have added tv 2 kg so my remaining weight is 2 kg clear so after that i want to add mixer and the weight of mixer is 1 kg so from 2 kg i have added mixer 1 kg and now remaining weight is 1 kg now my next item is chairs but the weight of chairs are 2 kg and my remaining weight is 1 kg means you can't added complete chairs in particular knapsack right so at that time you have to use the concept of fraction see there are total four chairs weight is 2 kg and suppose i will add only two chairs now weight is 1 kg right so i am adding only two chairs from this four chairs in my bag and the weight is 1 kg so from 1 kg i have added two chairs so 1 minus 1 now the answer is 0 kg means my knapsack is full my bag is full so this is called as fractional knapsack problem means at the particular end you want to add particular items in partially or in some minimum quantity this is a fractional knapsack concept now let's understand some applications where this fractional knapsack concept is really used the first example is shipping container see in particular import export purpose there are vast or large containers right so a particular person put the items according the weight so they use the fractional knapsack concept again in investment portfolio optimization suppose you have a limited money so you will invest some particular money in sip some in mutual funds right so according to your budget again in food packaging cloud storage or bandwidth allocation purpose this fractional knapsack concept is used now let's understand how to solve the example now as per your end sem exam purpose this is one of the most important question see here in my given example total weight is 10 this is the total weight of your knapsack 
then items weight and profit these three things are given see there are total four items like 1 2 3 and 4 first item weight is 2 kg and profit is 8% means when you sell a particular item you will get a profit 8% in this way right then item number 2 weight is 3 kg and profit is 6% then item number 3 weight is 4 kg and profit is 18% item number 4 weight is 5 kg and profit is 24% so this kind of data is given and you have to find out the total profit so this kind of question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks in your exam so prepare accordingly now see how to solve this so the first step is you have to calculate the profit weight ratio as per the algorithm you have to create one table right see so first i am creating one table there are total four columns item weight profit and profit weight ratio see now this is my first item as per the given data weight is 2 kg profit is 8% and profit weight ratio formula is profit divided by weight so 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 okay so similarly you have to add all these items or given data in this particular table so this is my second item weight is 3 kg then uh, profit is 6% and profit divided by weight answer is 2 now again item number 3 weight is 4 kg and profit is 18 and 18 divided by 4 that is 4.5 next item number 4 weight is 5 kg profit is 24 and the profit weight ratio is 4.8 so this is your first step you have to calculate the profit weight ratio so what exactly profit weight ratio in another language suppose you have a two apple when you sell this two apple you will get the 8% profit but when you sell only one apple so at that time you will get only 4% profit right so profit weight ratio means weight of every unit each unit okay so this is your first step now second step is you have to sort profit weight ratio in descending order right so first highest profit weight ratio is 4.8 then 4.5 then 4 and then 2 so why we have sorted this data because you have to add items in particular bag as per the profit weight ratio right means you are adding first 4.8 profit weight ratio that is item number 4 after that item number 3 then 1 then 2 in this way right so this is your second step first step calculate profit weight ratio second step sort profit weight ratio in descending order now third step is you have to pick one by one items in knapsack for that purpose you have to create one table selected items remaining weight and total profit okay now see which one is the highest profit weight ratio 4.8 and the item number is 4 so my selected item is 4 that i will add in my bag right so my total capacity is 10 so when i have added item number 4 so what is the weight of item number 4 5 so 10 minus 5 equal to 5 now this is my remaining weight remaining capacity right now initially i have 0% profit but when i have added item number 4 so the profit is 24 right so 0 plus 24 equal to 24 i have gained 24% profit okay so after 4.8 then 4.5 profit weight ratio means item number 3 so i have selected item number 3 and the weight of item number 3 is 4 kg my remaining weight is 5 kg right so 5 minus 4 equal to 1 this is my remaining weight now so initially i have uh, i have get 24% profit so what is the profit of item number 3 18 right so 24 plus 18 equal to 42 clear now after 4.5 i want to add four profit weight ratio so profit weight ratio is 4 item number 1 but now check item number 1 weight is 2 kg but in my bag remaining weight is only 1 kg right so at that time 
I will add particular item in fraction. Means from two, I will add only one item. Right? How? See. So item number is one. So from two, I will add only one. That is one by two. This is called as fraction. Right? So I will add only one weight from this two. So one minus one equal to zero. It means that my knapsack is full. My bag is full. Right? So previously I got forty-two percent profit. Now from two, I will add only one weight. So profit is only four percent now. Right? So forty-two plus four equal to forty-six. So my total profit is forty-six. Clear? So in this way you have to find out the total profit. Now one more question. Uh, asked in your final exam that is selected objects right so tell me which type of items uh, you have added in particular bag c selected objects so first item you have added half one by two manner right next item you can't added in bag that mention zero third and fourth item you have added completely not a partially so one one so this is your selected objects and in this way you have to solve any example now as per the fractional knapsack algorithm the same steps are there that steps we have followed while solving example so these are the same steps uh, of fractional knapsack algorithm so just take a quick revision of it see first you have to calculate the profit weight ratio after that sort them in descending order then initially your total profit is equal to 0 right so one by one items you have to pick it in sorted order now if your items fit completely so add your profit and reduce the capacity but if your item not fit completely so you have to take the particular item in fraction partially right and add the corresponding profit only so you have to repeatedly follow this step until your knapsack is full and at the end you need to calculate total profit as the maximum profit so these are the simple steps of this algorithm so these are the some questions that have asked in previous year question papers see uh, weight and profit of n items are given see weight equal to 15 kg items are given 1 to 7 and their weight and profits are given so we need to put this item in knapsack of capacity as per the 15 kg and you have to find out maximum total value that is maximum profit okay and second example is same example total weight 100 kg is given items weight and profit is given and you have to calculate the total profit so practice this example solve this example step wise so this is all about please subscribe my channel thank you keep learning